Let's go, Ahmed. Come on. Pull, 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 pull. Hips, 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 hips. Yeah. It's good. Woo. What's going on guys? This is Alfred from Lab Rap Powerlifting. So, it is May, May, sorry. It is April 12th and of course we are back in home sweet home, Alberta. Not really home sweet home, but you know, we're home. <laughs> uh, what you just saw there was uh, Ahmed's final pull. So Ahmed from Looming Strength, uh, my personal friend, very good friend of mine. Also, he's the one that kind of ran my numbers and coached me during the, this 2015 Canadian Nationals. Uh, we both didn't have the most ideal meet. Um, he didn't do as well as he had hoped on his bench and his squats. However, did amazing on his deadlifts. Uh, as you can tell, we were we were so excited for him that he pulled through. And this guy's a champ. Like most people, if they don't have the most, if they don't uh, you know perform as accordingly, they they get quite bent out of shape about it. Including myself. This guy was a champ powered through the entire time and just kept a smile on his face, very positive, never blamed anybody, anything, just kept going through and you know his last poll, 250 kilos, we were so excited for him. I'm just super happy for him that he got it and that's what powerlifting is all about, you know, like Rana and I, we're going to be going through a video separately um, of how we feel the meet all together. So this one's going to be a little bit more just about me and my personal experience on the day of the meet. But that's what powerlifting is all about, you know, just people being there for each other, you know, not like, oh, I'm better than you, I'm gonna beat you. Of course, everybody wants to win, but the environment there is just amazing. Like, everybody just wants to help each other out. Even the people that I'm lifting against, I can't help but to cheer for them. Like, I'm staring at the big screen and they're going for a lift. I know if they make this lift, they're gonna beat me, but still, like, deep down inside, I'm like, come on, man, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. And that's what I love about powerlifting. You know, we're all just very supportive. It's a very supportive community. And that's why I love this sport. So anyways, super happy for my boy Ahmed. Couldn't be happier for him. And you know what? Now he's just so much more driven for next year. And again, we're going to meet up for nationals, wherever it's going to be. And we're going to kill it or try to have the best time possible anyways. But it's always going to be a blast. Anyways, moving right along. Uh, my day at the meet it was very interesting. Uh, well, nothing really interesting about it, really. But um, I had a blast. You know, uh, I weighed in at sixty-three point four kilos, uh, which is about one hundred twenty-nine pounds. Now, um, that was kind of by luck. You know, like that morning, I don't know why. I'm just like, you know what? I could eat right now, but maybe I should just weigh in on empty stomach, just just for the sake of it. You know, like just just to have maybe a higher will, because not that that really matters, but eh, who knows, maybe that 0 0.2, 0 0.3 makes a bit of a difference. So I decided to weigh in an empty stomach, weighed in at 63.4, and um, yeah, it, like, it, it went fine. I'm kind of glad I got used to training a little bit earlier throughout the, the entire process, because uh, we weighed in at six in the morning, which was, I believe, 2.30 in, 2 a.m. in Edmonton time. So, uh, just the fact of being used to waking up early uh, and getting right to lifting right away, it, I, for me, it really helped out. Um, my first few attempts, like warming up, but felt fine. Uh, everything felt good. Uh, depth, everything was on point, at least in my opinion anyways. Brody, uh, Team Alberta's coach, he said everything moved just fine. So I opened with 165, which was my final attempt at Westerns. That moved pretty good. Um, didn't really see an issue with it. Uh, and then I went for 177.5 kilos for my second attempt, um, which you'll see right here. This one moved pretty good. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I, it pretty well. No, 
Uh, it went a little bit slower than what I anticipated. In, in my head, I, I imagined it going a little bit faster. So right after the lift, uh, I got together with Ahmed. I'm like, yo, what do you think? And he's like, how do you feel? Well, it moved a little bit slower. He's like, I agree, let's go with plan B. So uh, from my previous video, uh, you remember those little attempt cards? So we always have a plan A, plan B. Plan A being if everything was all good, we would go with this attempt. Plan B, if things don't feel right, we're gonna go with this way. So we decided to go with plan B and I dropped Originally, I had planned for 185 kilos, so I went with 180, and um, it just didn't happen. You know, um, I've hit 180 in training before, but only once. So, I mean, the strength is there. I'm not sure what happened. Let's go, Alfred. Come on, Alfred. Easy. Come on, Alfred. What? I racked the weight, weight felt good on my back, didn't feel too heavy, sank down to the bottom of the hole, came back up, and I just got stuck. I fought for my life. Like it, I mean, to other people, it might mean nothing at all, but like I fought, and I left everything on a platform. I fought until both my quads cramped up. Uh, when, my when my quads cramped up, there was nothing left. I dropped, and that was it. Um, even after walking off the stage, both my quads were cramping like crazy. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure why. I, I was pretty hydrated the whole time. Um, I, I don't know. I have no reason why that happened, uh, at least not to my knowledge. Um, but I left it all on there. I was disappointed for sure. Um, but hey, you still have six more attempts to go, so you got you to put it behind you. And um, you know, the whole time like behind the stage, I was pretty mellow, you know, I, I kind of segregated myself from everybody else, just sat in the corner, had my music on, and I felt, like, I'm not gonna lie, my CNS was pretty fried. Like, I grinded for a good two to three seconds for that last attempt, so that really had me fried. So I was feeling really tired and fatigued, so uh, in my mind, the best thing to do is to not move. So I had my headphones on, I ate, I drank, I had plenty of uh, uh, fluids with sodium, so a lot of Gatorade, and I just relaxed. Uh, up for bench, I've, so that was about, I'd say it was about an hour later, or maybe less, for bench, and I felt better again. Uh, first attempt was 100 kilos, that felt fine. Uh, then second attempt went for 107.5, that was my lifetime meet PR from my first meet at the Bay Nuber meet. Um, due to shoulder injury, my westerns, I dropped it down to 105. This meet felt good, so I went back to 107 for my second attempt. Moved up really fast, well, I think it moved pretty quick. M moved all right. Come on, Alfred. Went for a 110. Uh, that wouldn't have been a lifetime PR because I did hit it at the university, but it would have been a me PR. And I'm 99.9999% sure I know what happened. So this is what happened. Okay, so I unrack the bar. So usually what I do is I unrack the bar, and when they get the command, I'll like take a deep breath and then press, right? I don't know what happened, but this time, so I had the bar and I took a deep breath right away. And when the refs said press, I didn't breathe. I just, and right about here, I was pretty much turning blue to the face. So I took a deep little breath of like, and uh, I kind of lost tightness. The bar dipped a little bit. I fit, I grinded the entire rep out, but uh, I got three white or three red lights. I wish three white lights, three red lights uh, because the bar path did dip a little bit. So no lift. Uh, I was a little bit bummed out about that because I did get, I did finish the lift but it didn't meet the rules, so no lift. Um, so at that point, it was four for six. Not ideal at all, you know, like in my mind, I'm like, oh man, like what am I gonna do, what if? And deadlifts, uh, for those of you who don't know, I've been kind of cursed with deadlifts. Uh, when I, every time I go at meets, I always seem to lose balance, I jerk a little bit, I don't know, something happens, and so I was a little bit hesitant. And, and when I was warming up, 
my quads were cramping up from uh, squats. So like even with uh, 25 kilos on each side, just locking out my quads cramped up. I'm like, holy crap, this is not gonna go well. So uh, I kind of gave Ahmed a heads up. I'm like, yo, dude, man, something's not feeling right. Just keep an eye out for me. He's like, okay. So when we're warm up, he's like, okay, don't lock out. Just pull away and drop it back right away. Don't waste energy. I'm like, okay, got it. So went for an opener, 200 kilos. Uh, the same thing happened. I pulled up at just at the top. I dipped just a little bit. My quads cramped up and my calves cramped up. And uh, so I dipped just a little bit. And But luckily, uh, you know, like all stars were aligned or something. I got two white lights, one red light. Uh, in my opinion, I thought that should have got called. But uh, luck's on my side. I got the th I got the lift, so that kind of was a load off my chest. Okay, so the plan was supposed to be two seventeen point five. However, Ahmed saw that right away. He's like, "You're not gonna do that again, right?" And I was like, "Yeah, yeah for sure." So he knocked my uh, second attempt back to two fifteen without me knowing. And uh, so he put that up. I looked on the board. I'm like, "Oh man, it's two fifteen. That's not exactly what I wanted for my second attempt." So, but regardless, I'm like, "Okay, hey, gotta get this done, anyways." Went for it, pulled it, and it was fine. So after I pulled it, turned out good, uh, nice and smooth, no hitching, no, um, you know, no cramping. So that felt good. And then came the big moment. I, I did not realize this. So myself and uh, the guy that came in third, or the, me and him, uh, Ryan, from uh, Manitoba. So me and him were neck and neck. So. We both failed the same attempt for squats, so we both got the same second attempt. Third, uh, for bench, he got 110, I missed 110. So at that point, uh, for deadlifts, we first and second attempt, we pulled the exact same. And at that point, he was two and a half kilos ahead of me. Uh, his third attempt was 220. And he did the exact same thing I did for my opener. So I had a little bit of downward movement, he did the same thing, and immediately I'm like, yes, he dipped. For sure, he's gonna be uh, red lighted. He got same as me, two red light or two white lights and one red light. So I'm like, God oh, damn it, he got it. So a little bit more pressure now. And my game plan was to go with 227.5. And so Ami pulled me off the side. He's like, dude, you have two options right now. A, you can go for your big pull and be 50 50 because of the way your first attempt went. And you've only pulled 500 once, 500 pounds. It, if you get it, you'll get third. If you don't get it, you'll get fourth. You won't even pull it. You won't get a chance to be on the podium. Or we can go to 22.5, a half kilo up. And so you would beat Ryan by two and a half kilos. And on top of that, you weighed a little bit less. So you would win through Wilkes. And, you know, like, I, that's not what I wanted. I'm like, oh man, I go, I go for a big pull. But, um, you, know, after, you know, after talking with him a little bit more, I'm like, it's the smarter way to go. You know, either way, if I pulled 227.5, I'll get third. If I pulled 222.5, I'll get third. One has a higher risk than the other. So I'm like, okay, you know what? You're running my numbers, I trust you. Do what you gotta do. So he he didn't actually tell me what he had put. Uh, actually, at that point, I was kind of my adrenaline was kind of pumping up, so I didn't really know what was going on. He just wrote the attempt, put it in. So I'm just sitting in the back, and he's like, okay, done. You gotta pull this. I'm like, okay, done. So I'm sitting there just chilling, and uh, Trent uh, from 83, Three, 83 kilo junior. Um, I believe he came in second place. Uh, but anyways, I, I've never talked to a guy before. Uh, Ahmed spoke very highly of him. I knew he had some pretty, I think he had the, I think he made the new national squat record for a junior. Can't remember. Anyways, he came up to me and was like, dude, man, like you got this. And I'm, like right in my head, I was like, you're trying, dude, you got a massive squat and you like, you just broke the record for whatever and so i was kind of fanboying my head and he's trying to have a serious conversation he's like dude man the like we have full house right now all you gotta do is make this pull like get the crowd fired up you can do this just pull this way finish it and you're, you you'll be solid i'm like okay and, and so i'm kind of confused i'm like why is he talking to me like i've never met him before and, but i did see him and ahmed kind of talking earlier so i'm like is ahmed telling him to talk to me or something i don't get it but i was like all right, yeah, for sure. And, um, you know, going, when bar was loaded, Ahmed had this like huge pep talk with me. Like, I, I swear to God, like, I'm not even joking. Uh, so excuse the language. He's like, you fucking pull that way. I don't give a shit. You leave everything on a platform. You fucking pull that way. No matter what, you leave everything on a platform. So I'm just like, and me, I'm not a very hyped up kind of guy. You know, I'm pretty mellow the whole time. And like, 
but my, my philosophy, or I guess you can call it philosophy, is you know, nice and calm, uh, have everything set up properly, and pull like you would with any other weight, and the technique will take care of itself. That's kind of how I do it. I don't really get amped up or anything like that. And he was just kind of getting me fired up, and I'm just kind of sitting there like, yeah, yeah, okay, no problem, I got this. So <laughs> I got up, and uh, instinctively, you know, I'm just kind of like trying to get the crowd fired. I'm not very into getting people fired, so I'm just kind of like, yeah, come on, come on, cheer, cheer. And, you know, and the, the Saskatchewan team actually cheered, uh, cheered for me, so that was pretty cool. And then, like, I heard the odd voices. Uh, I heard Joseph from uh, uh, Alberta. He wasn't competing this time. He was just there for his girlfriend. But he was cheering for me, so I just heard all these voices in my head. I'm like, okay, I got this, I got this. And uh, I'll let you see what happens right here. I got the lift and uh, you don't really see much that happens here but apparently I jumped very high so uh, I'll show you kind of my, so Rhonda took a video of uh, Ahmed's camera so I'll kind of show you what the camera showed and later on on Ahmed's channel you'll see like the full version of what really happened but just to give you an idea Bar is loaded for Steven Chen So I kind of went full out and just jumped for the air, huge cloud of dust behind me. Uh, apparently I jumped really high, it didn't seem that high to me, but it's, apparently it's what I do. I, when I get excited, I jump and I do like a Super Mario fist pump thing. But <laughs> um, yeah, so that was that and that, because when, once I pulled it, I realized like, if I get the three white lights, I get bronze. Like. Yeah, okay, my total is not anything respectable, okay, I get it, I'm not the strongest guy here, like, I know there's tons of people that can beat me, but the fact that my first nationals, I was able to get third, I would say on luck, because I didn't eat anything in the morning, so that got, that caused me to be 0.2, uh, 0.2 kilos lighter than Ryan, so I beat him through point, 0 0.2 kilos, that, or 0 0.2 kilos body weight. That's how I won. Like it was that close, and uh, I I I couldn't have been happier. Um, I know I could have performed a lot better. I know there's a lot of people that can beat me, but hey, that's my moment, and um, I I was the happiest guy in the world. Um, you know, moving forward, there's gonna be a lot more work that needs to be done. Uh, as if you guys follow me on Instagram, I did state that I'm no longer gonna be doing programming for myself and Rhonda. Um, I don't feel that we're elite or we're on top of the world. We're pro now. No, that's not the case at all. It's it, like through my knowledge, you know, I have no uh, powerlifting background. I have a degree in kinesiology. I've coached for Taekwondo at a national level, but that's it. And I feel like I, I've taken us to a spot that I'm I'm content with, uh, me personally and Rhonda herself too. Moving forward. Uh, I, I don't want to go through the stress of de dealing with my own programming for it. It was just a lot to deal with. I'd rather have somebody tell me what I need to do and I'll just do it. And uh, that's why uh, I already have somebody in mind and um, I will be announcing this later on. But in the meantime, I'm just going to say that I'm in search for a coach and this person will be taking care of Rhonda and I for upcoming meets and who knows where we can go for there. It can only go up, maybe. But anyways, um, so that's my take for Nationals 2015, just a very quick one. Uh, there's a lot more I would like to get into, but I'm going to save that for the next video with Rhonda so we can both give our two cents. Uh, lots, of, lots of things going on behind the scenes that I really want to share with you guys. But hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, I tried my best to upload a video every day. I got to day three, and after that it kind of fell apart a little bit, and I'm sorry. But here's the next video of uh, kind of my day. So 
Hope you guys enjoy this. And again, I, I just want to thank every single one of you guys for cheering for Ron and I. Um, all you guys from Australia, BC, everybody in Canada, uh, even people in the States. Uh, I had my phone away the entire time when I finished lifting. I checked my phone. My phone froze because I had so much notifications. Thank you guys so much. I, it, it, it blows my mind. People from across the world are watching live stream and watching me lift and cheering me on. And it's, it's, so, it's so overwhelming. That's never happened to me before. Even in Taekwondo, that does not happen. And I uh, just want to thank you guys so much. And I don't want to get all emotional and all like sappy and stuff. But truly, thank you guys. You guys are the best. You know exactly who you are. Thank you for the love and support. And I don't even know how to repay you guys. Thank you so much. And um, yeah, before I keep going on and on and on, have a nice day. Peace out. Like, share, subscribe to the video. And see you next time. Peace. So are we officially newbies now? I think so. Nice. We're doing our best.